Dana Point. Let's take a look. In the Alpine, Renault Alpine. You don't see these too often. Rally car. Rear engine. Blue their fiberglass. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So what is it, a 1600 or what? Well, they originally, um, um, this model is late, late in the series, and this was originally a 1600. Okay. Uh, it's now a 1750. Which okay. It's been rallied and got a lot of modifications. And right, stuff. right. But, uh, they were all street cars. And, yeah, initially. The privateers would rally them. But, no, that's, they're fantastic. Yeah. Fantastic. Fiberglass, right? Yeah. Yep. 1,400 pounds. 1,400? That's really light. Yeah. That's even lighter than a Lotus. It's like a go-kart. Uh, yeah. But it's just crazy fast. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, uh, we'll uh, see you pull out of here, I guess. Yeah. Hear this thing come to life. Let's look at a few others here. 356 Beezers, two of them. Those are really cool instruments. Let's see, how can I do this without getting shadows everywhere? Maybe this will work. 66 GTV. ESO. So this would have a V8, American V8. These are probably Barani wire wheels. I'm sure they are. ESO Revolta. Nice convertible Stingray here. Four speed. Has a big block hood. Looks like a great driver. Leather interior. Probably was original. There you go. 427. Got another Alpha. Later model. With the dash being different than the earlier model. There you have those two pods with the eyebrows. Fuel injected, has the speaker injection. There you go, this is a classic Mustang Coupe 289. 914. This one is a 2-liter, been bored out, 5-speed, drives great, late model 911. 356, probably 356C, I'm gonna guess, later production. Black on red, that's really nice. Again, love those instruments. With the green font, look at that clock. Radio there, really sharp. Yeah, it's a C. Good looking car. Maybe you can tell, but this is dark brown. I'm not sure you can tell, actually. So badge there. Yeah, this is really, really nicely re restored. I like these stacked headlights. Wheel covers. Yeah, very luxurious. I like the bumpers compared to some of the later model bumpers. It's a 280. 
with a 3.5. There's a GTI. Another 911, two of them, GT3 RS. Next to a Corvette. I like those seats. You have that insert there, kind of that suede insert. Hard to go wrong with that. We got the drilled rotors. That yeah, looks pretty cool. Of course, uh, C8 VET, we're familiar with those. This is a lot of fun. I don't know what that is. I know it's a Ford model model T. Here we go. Alfa Romeo, Giulietta Sprint, it's your first um, iteration here. You've got these, what they call eyebrows here on the front. Traditional Alfa Romeo grill in the center. This would originally have been a four speed with a 1300 engine. Pretty cool interior. Looks very original. This is neat, you don't see these ever. It's a Milano, 87 or 88 Verde, three liter V6, five speed. They'd have Recaro seats, this one does. Very unusual car that you often, don't often see. They have a transaxle design, so they handle very, very well. Weight balance. Got a Woody here. Ferrari. What is this, a five, 599? Here we go, 356. Good looking car here too. Look at this. Started out as a TR3. Now it's highly modified. Got Weber's on it. Cycle fenders up here. We'll walk around, take a look on the other side. That's pretty cool. A couple more alphas here. Cool wheels. It's a neat mustard color. The battleship gray here. Yes. Yeah. Well, understeer is when the axles in the front goes. Look at this. Don't see those often. Describes the word itself. Zagato body. Steers are under. In other words, when the car is being put in the radius. Launch, yeah. It's probably a 1300, I'm guessing. And it does not actually. 
Go check that out. Beautiful convertible here. Very 80s looking here. Very clean. Targa. Well, oh, that's super clean. 48,000 miles. So was that be a 66, 65? Get a shot of this one pulling out here. divisive feature on these. Some people hate them, some people love them. Now this is sharp. It's blue with the white racing stripes here. Shelby. Yeah, that's nice looking. Another earlier earlier Targa here. Super clean, late model Boxster. 912, all right. He's got the four cylinder in that. Very original, original color, I'm sure. There we go, TR6. Good looking car, Italian designed. Michelotti, I believe. All right, let's take a look. I'm not sure what this is. Alancia? What is that? Got a nardy wheel on it. Alloy wheels. No badging. No bumpers. That's a Fiat. All right. I thought it might be Lancia. It's probably a 1200, 1300, something like that. Another TR6 with a roll bar. There's a Healy, 3000. Another TR6. Beautiful blue. I like those lower profile bumpers on that. Anyway, all right, nice to meet you. Got the Panasport style aluminum wheel. Nice. Enjoy. Thank you. This out. NSX. I like those wheels, the bronze cast on there. Sir, don't touch the car, please. Don't touch the car. <laughs> Second generation here with the covered headlights. 
strip mall wants us there. Your car? Or are you just taking a picture of it? Oh, we're just getting a quick yeah, picture. I, know. I like the, the orange. I do too. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. All right, we're back to where we once were, so I think we're going to wrap it up. Maybe get one more. Here. Reverse oh, there. yeah. Reverse so, up there. Okay. so the reason you really pay attention to that is all my four speeds first is where reverse is on the right. Right. Speed. So you need to know if you're first or reverse. That's helpful. Yeah. 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 Important. Yeah. That's hey, that's you that's actually that's have a better. footrest on this? I, I Look at the footrest. Yeah. Carl's so in the this woman's is a, uh, footrest. This is a lady's seat. Yeah, the lady seat. seat has a footrest. Oh, yeah. So this is a 64, 65, 5, 330. No, this is the 275. Oh, it's so the 330 is after this with a thinner grill. So oh. this is, the 330 follows this. Okay. This would be 65 and 66. 30 now 67. Okay, got and it. And the end with the 365. So this is the 275 GTX. All right. All right, there they go.